Hi, my name is Brian Wood, and I'm a web developer. And I'd love to show you guys how to work with the DMX Zone extension called HTML5 Slideshow and how to pull in dynamic data from, let's say, a MySQL database or something like that. If we create a record set within Dreamweaver, how we can pull that in and use that data in the actual uh, slideshow. Really cool. So really simple example out here. You guys can see I'm pulling this in from a MySQL database. Now, typically, I'm, I'm assuming you guys have, know about you know databases, MySQL. You probably have some kind of local server running. I have a WAMP server running. You can also have XAMPP on uh, Windows or MAMP on Mac. And you've got a you know a website set up, and you've gone into Dreamweaver. Let me go over to Dreamweaver here. You've gone into Dreamweaver, and you created yourself a site with a testing server and things like that. Now what we need to do is we need to go in and create the PHP page, add the slideshow, add the data, and then hook them together. So let me go over to my start page here, and I've got a, a, a little div right here that I'm going to put it in. First things first. On this page, I'm going to hook up my data. So what I've done, let me actually show you this. I'm going to go over to my uh, browser here, and I've got PHP my admin open here, and I've created a um, a table within a simple database. This is actually a WordPress database, you guys, and I'm using this as just an, as an example. And I've created a table uh, with some records in it, and each one of the records has description, image name, image path. So the image actually lives on a server somewhere, and you, they're actually local right now, so that's how it's pulling it out. But I would put that up somewhere, you know, and have a... Uh, a real address, like an HTTP address, that sort of thing. So I've created this. Let me go back over to Dreamweaver. And what we need to do is I'm going to come under Window here and go to Databases. Now, some of this is going to be review for some of you guys. And if you take a look here, I've actually connected my database here. Now, you'll see right here that we typically go in and set up a MySQL connection. And you'll see you go through and add up the connection name, the server, which if you guys are actually doing it locally, let me do this, I'll open this one up, you'll probably put in localhost. You want to put in the username and the password. Mine just happened to be root, and there's no password. And you put the database name that you created. So pretty simple. Once you put that in there and you go out there and take a look, you should be able to see all the tables and everything you've got. Now, the image location table is what I want to focus on. And what we do is once we hook up the database here, I'm going to come under Window. Come out here. You guys are going to see we have what's called bindings, and it looks like it's already out there. There it is right there. Let me pull that up. And we bind the data to the page, and we create a record set. So if I click on the plus here and say, let's create a record set, it's going to pull our data and say, oh, this is a connection you want to use, right? It's going to say, which table do you want? I'm going to make sure I've got image location. And I'm going to select just a few of these here. I'm going to say path, name, and oops, description. I can control or command click to select disparate fields there. I could filter it. I could sort it, do whatever I want. I'm going to test it out, see what it looks like. And it should pull my data in and show me what it looks like. There we go. I'll click OK, and there's our record set. There's our binding. Now, let me take this and stick it over here. Now, what we can do is we can insert our HTML5 slideshow by coming up into the Insert panel and start to bind the data to it. So I'll come to this div. Now, typically, you do have to have a div created. I'll select the text inside of it and just delete that. Looks like the div went away, but it's still there. I'll click HTML5 slideshow in the Insert panel to insert it. And I'm just going to go up here with the new options. We have static and dynamic. I'll choose dynamic. And it'll say, oh, well, looks like you've got a record set ready. So let's use that as a data source. Now, if you've got multiple data sources coming into this page, you can obviously choose, choose whichever record set you want to use. Now we go in and we bind. So for the image field itself, I'm going to come over here. And anytime you see like this, um, looks like a little lightning bolt, I click on that. It's going to say, all right, well, let's hook it up. So I'll say the image path is going to get hooked up there. Now you can, if you want to, choose a format. And we have encoding like HTML, URLs, things like that. You can choose what you want. Okay, it's up to you guys. But I'm going to leave it alone. It should work fine. I'll click OK. And you'll see it puts the data in there. Now I'll go to title here. Click on the dynamic data is value. And this is called my name, not my title. So whatever you called your, uh, your fields. And then I'll go to description here and click on the uh, choose dynamic data and say description. Now, of course, I could have created in my database, I could have created a width, a height, field, and an ID if I wanted to. Um, created those, just to put those in here if I wanted, but I'm going to leave it alone for right now. So, pretty simple. All right, now that I've got the data hooked up, if I come to advanced out here, you'll see a lot of things we can do. 
Now I'm going to change the slide duration so you can see it happen a little bit faster. And we can place the images in a different place if we want to. We'll have it change the design as well. I'm going to do something like dark matter so it's a little bit easier to see. And we can set up motion, transition, whatever we want to do here to have it set up. So I'll click OK. I think it looks pretty good that way, or will anyway. There it is. You'll see the dynamic data right there, the icon. I can go to live view if you guys have a testing server set up. Otherwise, I'm going to go out and just preview it in Firefox with my testing server set up. I'll save it. Any files that are necessary for this will get pulled in and be used. And there we go. It's picking up. You can see my formatting that I've got. So we've got that out there. We've got the images and everything is set. Now, what I can do is change. You'll notice that this is not quite fitting into my div here. That's just a, a function of the HTML5 slideshow that's easily changed. Let me go back. Now, with the HTML5 slideshow selected, I can come down here and just change the width if I want to, making sure that my images actually fit that, which makes, hopefully that makes sense. I will then get out there. I'll press Enter Return, go test it out, preview it, save my page. And there we go. Pretty cool. Now, of course, you guys, if you do have a change in your, your data, let's say you guys have a change in your table uh, and your record set changes or something like that, we're going to need to make sure that we've got all the bindings set up properly and that you go back in. If you do change, let's say, uh, names of anything, you want to make sure you go back in the slides, click on slides there, check to make sure that everything's set up correctly in here, that you've bound to the correct you know data, and you should be set. So, all right, that's pretty cool. It's a great way to be able to use the HTML5 slideshow. Now, I'm showing you guys how to do it on a local uh, setup here. I've got a local server running, things like that. You know, I've got PHP, uh, MySQL uh, set up locally. But obviously, this can work on a website if you guys have it set up on your web server and just get it ready to go and all set to go. So pretty easy, pretty powerful too. A lot of great stuff we can do with the HTML5 slideshow.